before we start, uh, let's first take a look at, into the risk disclaimer. Trade in foreign exchange on margin carries high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Before deciding to trade foreign exchange, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk appetite. There is a possibility that you may sustain a loss of some or all of your investment and therefore you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware that all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Having said that, uh, my name is Edmundas Paulavichus and I'm a senior financial analyst at ADZ Forex. I was, uh, I'm in the company for over a year now. I've been trading myself for nearly two years. I also worked uh, with professional traders and uh, trainers and even brokers. Um, unfortunately, Jakob Rahimov was not able to join us today, but you may already know about him. He's a professional trader, trainer, and an author of the coming uh, Forex Not For Dummies book. He has been nominated as the best trader of the year by multiple independent media sources since he joined the Forex industry in 2005. Today's agenda in, is um, derived in four points. Uh, moving stop loss below or above uh, support or resistance levels. Second, not moving stop loss to a break even point. Third, not movi moving stop loss to a break even point. And fourth, uh, using stop loss in trending markets. Now, uh, going for some examples, we start with the first point of uh, moving stop loss below or above major levels. This generally applies in all, in all markets and in all cases. Taking example of Australian dollar, US dollar, I actually analyzed this pair a week uh, at the start of the week and drawn these two major levels expecting the pair to consolidate uh, in between them. You can actually find my analysis um, on a 2 zforexcom So uh, having uh, noted down those two levels, I expect the consolidation however we can see that this level was not drawn um, as precise as it should have for example it uh, should have been at this point however for uh, example for for our example ju just leave it uh, let's leave it how it is uh, let's say we wanted to move enter the market after the breakout for a breakdown of this major level and uh, we would have basically, if we would have placed our stop loss exactly on the psychological 0 0.75 level, we would have, well, the price would have uh, moved in our favor, but then reversed and immediately hit our stop loss. Now, uh, therefore, we should have moved our stop loss well, at the recent low, which was the actual stop loss level, uh, sorry, so resistance level, and just uh, 5 to 10 pips above it, plus spread. This depends on uh, how volatile the market is and uh, which pair you're trading. But 5 to 10 uh, pips uh, above a gap is uh, usually enough in all cases. Therefore, uh, the market would have reversed, well, wouldn't have touched our stop loss level and reversed back into our direction towards the next uh, take profit at subsequent support level. Uh, using th it this way basically makes our stop loss uh, larger. However, it will get hit uh, fewer times. Therefore, in the long term, this will increase our profitability by making us lose less. Moving on to the second point, uh, basically not moving stop loss to a break-even point. This is, well, many traders actually use uh, 
just after the price moves in their direction they will move the stop loss to a break even point and just to basically to ease off their pain if the price suddenly reversed and what actually happens it uh, it does reverse and hit their stop loss after which they find out that they were right and the price reaches their take profit but that uh, but then it's too late therefore Looking at a few examples how when not to move our stop loss, this basically applies to ranging markets when we are uh, anticipating a continuation. For example, uh, from weekly time frame, we know that uh, well we can see that uh, Austral uh, Australian dollar US dollar has been moving on a bullish side since the turn of the year, and um, Therefore, looking at daily time frame, we see uh, that this move was just a correction. And at some point, uh, it, w it needed to reverse and continue trending higher. For from a daily time, uh, so from hourly time frame, let's say uh, this was the correction, and we decide, uh, we well we see that uh, the correction has ended at this point and decide to uh, enter the market uh, well to buy uh, let's say if, uh, we see that price moves in our direction uh, we get 50 plus uh, pips in our favor and then we want to move our stop loss back to our uh, back to our entry point Je, uh, well break even point and what happens price immediately hits our stop loss and we get we get out with nothing and this actually happens not once but one two three four, even five times now if uh, we trust our analysis and we do anticipate a continuation we just basically set and forget we enter the market at this point and uh, Place our stop loss uh, just few uh, well five to ten pips below the recent uh, support level, and then just basically set and forget, and the market, as expected, uh, continues trading higher. Moving on to the third point, when we should move stop loss to our break-even point. Um, this applies in ranging markets when we are uncertain or actually are wrong. Getting back to the latest example of uh, Australian dollar and uh, the US dollar, imagine that we <clears throat> imagine that we enter the market after a breakout, a breakdown of the uh, major uh, psychological level at this point. Now uh, we uh, place our stop loss at a recent, uh, just below, uh, just above a recent low, or at this point, and we see the market moves in our favor, then reverses, then moves again in our favor, then reverses back and fluctuates around this point. And what market is actually telling us that, well. Hey trader, maybe your analysis isn't uh, isn't correct, and you should consider moving your stop loss back to um, break even point, or maybe even taking profit as soon as possible. Um, therefore, in cases when we expect, well, when we are not certain, or we are we might be wrong, we then put our uh, stop loss to our break even point. Lastly, um, we can uh, use, uh, I'll show you a way how we can use stop loss in trending markets. Taking example of gold, of recent um, trend, let's take this for example. If we decide to enter the market at a breakout, um, we would 
first we would set our stop loss at the recent well above recent high let's say put it at this place and as the market ranges we would move our stop loss near the recent low the low well the low forms price continues trading higher and we move our stop loss with the trend this uh, this continues several times this point this point this point until we reach well until the price reverses and hits our stop loss level and um, uh, well although our stop loss is hit we will still exit the market with well with a good profit in our hands this these uh, four points basically conclude um, how to increase profitability by losing less uh, today's webinar was sponsored by uh, ads securities london and in association with a to z forex i hope you enjoyed today's webinar and please ask any questions at the right hand chat section